really do today is uh, maybe I'll give an introduction and we'll uh, just see how exactly where exactly Ajax is. So you guys know anything about Ajax? What is Ajax? What is Ajax? Or just give me an example where they use Ajax. Give me one example where they use Ajax. And if you tell the answer, I'm going to ask one more question. So be prepared. Yeah. Uh huh. Results in Google search. Good. Nice. So, why did Google use it in the first place? I mean, why why Ajax? Now, when you say, for instance, I'll tell you, uh, you search, you hit enter, form gets submitted, you see the results in the next page, right? So, why not that? Why only this? Okay, for that, yeah, maybe Bharat has an answer. You can't hear, Bharat, uh, the only option you got now here is log out from the class, log in again. That's the only option you got, maybe. No need to reload old page. Fantastic. So you know about Ajax. So you know you know how to use Ajax. Did you use Ajax in your projects? No. You never used it. Great. It's pretty fairly simple. Uh, what we do is like we combine jQuery. We combine jQuery and uh, Ajax and do. So even before that, let's talk about Ajax. Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Okay, so uh, since, but I mean, from the time it's being used, it got its name. Like, you know, these are the tools which are used to make client side dynamic. Okay, so uh, what we do is like let's let's just uh, see one example how we can make client side dynamic instead of you know instead of seeing our blog application. Okay, so asynchronous JavaScript and XML to make client side dynamic. That's what Ajax. So Ajax is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So what is asynchronous? So asynchronous is something uh, which does not work in line with the current page like for instance say uh, the ajax request these requests are, are not at all related with the page loading or you know page reloading or anything they are independent so if you perform an uh, action let's say you click on something and you want something to be changed with the real time data not like you can do this using jQuery too. Like you know, CSS and jQuery combined, you can you can do stuff which can make things dynamic. Like you know, registration forms. You say next, next, next. So you can use jQuery over there to show the next form. But to to load something dynamically. Okay. So to load something dynamically from the server side, let's say. Okay, if you want some information from the server side, you can use Ajax and PHP to get that information without even loading the page. So that's where Ajax is very, very important. So why, why, why does Ajax has become such a hit? Google started using Ajax, you know, the type ahead. Whenever you search something in Google, like it gives the suggestions, right? It's Ajax, it's, it's called type ahead. It's called type ahead. Okay, so, you know, uh, 
the internet has been changing the the way people are looking at the pages it's been changing so for a clean ui for a clean ui and ux so ui stands for user interface and ux stands for user experience okay this tells about the color and stuff this tells about the flow okay for a clean ui and ux people started or developers started using ajax ajax is something but yeah let's see how great we can do it so asynchronous javascript and xml this is what it, it used to make the client side dynamic uh, so it's not the regular jquery which makes these dynamic transactions it's it's completely you know goes to a different page fetches data and comes back to the page without even loading the page that's where ajax is used nowadays okay so why ajax has become more popular because people have been changing their views around the websites or web pages like they started looking at web pages differently they did not want these uh, you know reloading the pages or going to the other page coming back so they did not like it so for a clean ui and ux developers started using ajax and ajax has become very popular okay so ajax combined with php can pull data from databases or database and display in the page without reloading so the whole point is without reloading remember this so what is generally happening over there so let me let me put it in a diagram here so this is my web page and <clears throat> this is let's say let's assume this is my server so there are some something in the web page uh, let's say uh, these are some oops. so let me do this uh, or let's do this so there is some data in the web page okay and what happened here is uh, there's a button here let me change the color so there's a button here it says uh, change let's say okay change web page or change the view or whatever so what happens now let's say that button will change this particular area so what should happen here is this should this should be erased okay and put with the data which is completely new from the database so what really happens over there is as soon as i click on the button the ajax starts okay i have to tell ajax like hey you know just start so it gets started and it connects to the data, connects to the page a php page or a html page whatever it's a different page okay it does not go to that page but it gets connected to that page and whatever the operations here it it performs those operations and returns the data to the ajax again <coughs> okay everything happens in javascript that's why it's called asynchronous javascript so all these requests and responses will be tackled by the javascript which we'll be seeing in a while but we'll be using jquery uh, we won't be using javascript because you know we know less is uh, what say uh, what is jquery's tagline write less do more okay so we write less and we do more okay so everything happens in javascript so it the the, whatever the whatever the transactions here what are the operations that take place here they may be connected to a database they may be connected to a third party server they may be sending an email whatever okay what are the operations that takes place let's say this is db db stands for database and uh, this is smtp smtp stands for mail and uh, sms gateway api calls okay so whatever it may be it performs that action in that page and returns the response to the same page without even reloading the page okay so let's say this is a api call 
so api call will i don't know if we discuss or not cuz that's not in that's not a part of syllabus maybe uh, if more people are interested we can take care of that all right so uh, it makes that request and response will be sent to the javascript again and based on the based on the response we can change this particular area this area can be changed depending on the response so that's ajax okay just reloading a part of the page without even reloading the entire web page so why i call reloading because it's getting connected to a different page okay so that is it so uh, now you can see most most uh, prominently ajax runs on http request okay in general http requests are made via url like you know you make a call you you type in a address www.2.com then it fetches the data and displays on the browser like search even ajax is a http request but it's not going anywhere staying in the same page getting the data from a different page okay so if you go for interviews people will ask like you know how many states does ajax has okay in general ajax has five states uh, i don't uh, there are 0 1 2 2 sorry 0 1 2 3 4 5 that's it five states so zero is like you know the connection is not started one is connection started then connection made successful uh, we get the response and connection is terminated okay these are the states zero state one state two state three state and four state then we get the response we do something with the response which we'll be seeing in a practical example so this is about ajax and as i said we'll be using jquery for ajax calls so i'll show you how to use it it's